Uh, so welcome back. This is part three of my introduction on Fedora 17 running GNOME 3.4. In my previous two videos, I demonstrated how to uh, use GNOME Tweak Tool to get functionality back on your desktop, if that's the method you wish to use. I also showed how to use GNOME extensions and how to install GNOME Shell themes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install GTK themes to change the appearance of your windows themselves, as well as some uh, pretty neat uh, GNOME shell, uh, GNOME extensions that I use. So first off, I'm just going to launch Firefox. And again, we want to go to uh, gnome-look.org. And you want to scroll down from the left side pane here and look for GTK3. You must use the 3, version 3. Select by highest rated. And uh, we'll try a gray day as a demonstration. So again, a brief description is given on this particular theme. It says it requires GNOME 3.4, and it has been tested on Fedora 17 and Unity on Ubuntu. So you click here to download. Now, I'm not going to save this file because I've already downloaded it. So I'm just going to go to Workspace 2. Downloads. And you'll see here that I've already extracted this folder. Now, there's two methods to install themes. You can install them in uh, User Share Themes. So let's go to User Share. And we're going to look for Themes. Here. Several of these are installed by default. Uh, a few of these I've installed myself. So by copying that gray folder to here, you'd have to be root u uh, root user, obviously. You install that theme system wide. So it, didn't ma it doesn't matter how many users you'd have, each user would then have the have the ability to change to that theme. Easy way to install themes based per, uh, based on user is so to simply copy this folder. So we're going to choose copy. Let's bring up a new tab. We're going to go home. You want to go to view, show hidden files. And you'll see a folder here called themes. I've already pasted this in here previously. So again, you would paste it here. Okay. So we'll skip that. Now we want to launch GNOME Tweak Tool. We want to select theme. Under GTK theme, you'll notice now we have gray day. So let's go ahead and select that. You'll see there's a slight change. It's recommended to close GNOME Tweak Tool, then use Alt F2 and restart the GNOME shell. If you run into any problems and your theme doesn't seem to uh, take effect, you can always uh, come up here and log out and then log back in again to see how your theme theme appears. So going into the overlay, and uh, uh, part two of the video series that I did, I installed this theme and it seems to be kind of out of whack. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. So I'm going to launch GNOME Tweak Tool. Again, we're going to go to Theme. And this Gray Day theme, uh, GTK theme, it also has a GNOME Shell theme as well. So we click on that. Let's try uh, Gray Day. You notice our top panel had changed. Uh, not sorry, I chose the wrong one. Shell theme. I want to choose Gray Day. So there we go. Our top panel has changed. And again, Alt F2. Restart GNOME Shell. And now when you go into the overlay, you'll see that our icons are normal. So I'm going to go Workspace 1. I'm going to go to Extensions. .gnome.org
I'm going to show you a couple extensions that I happen to like. One is a window overlay icons. This one here. So I'm going to enable that. And now when you go into the overlay, you'll notice that icons, uh, overlays, icons are placed over your applications in your windows. So let's uh, launch Thunderbird here on Workspace 2. I don't have Thunderbird configured, obviously. 3, let's launch GIMP. And let's launch Writer. So going into the overlay, you'll see that the some nice little icons that are presented over each window just to help you identify. If you're a major multitasker, this can come in handy. Just draws you draws your eyes to focus easier. So that's pretty much it for uh, this video. This part. I uh, know it's short, but uh, well, actually, there's uh, let's check out some other extensions here. Let's uh, area screenshot, I believe it's called. There it is here. I happen to like this one as well. Again, if you're prompted to install, this is user based. You do not need to be root. So just go ahead and install that. This kind of just takes over the print screen, uh, print screen uh, functionality. So just hitting, uh, using Shift Print, you can then select a particular spot. Let's go to our File Manager and then go to Pictures. Let's see, there's our screenshot. Naturally, if just the print screen key, uh, print screen key itself. We'll take a full screenshot and shift print screen. We'll let you take a nice highlighted selection, whatever you want. Nice added feature. Another one I like is automatic corner. of your activities. Let's go ahead and enable that as well. Choose install. And you'll notice we have a nice little widget up here that'll record record all your, your activity. So it'll give you a breakdown. It takes a little bit for the data to compile. But it'll display uh, information on how long you're spending in your web browser, uh, how long you're Perhaps we're in a terminal session, email client, and it just helps you prioritize your day a little easier. So that's basically it for part three. Uh, the rest is up to you. Feel free to experiment with, uh, with different themes, whether they're GTK themes, GNOME shell themes, and uh, as well as uh, GNOME extensions. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to provide some more videos in the near future. On a little more advanced topics, not necessarily pertaining to Fedora, but uh, on some other programs and uh, utilities that I use to help uh, me keep keep me stay efficient. So thanks, and take care.